Are you ready for a yes, no riddle? Oh, you betcha. How these work is I throw out a scenario that I found on the internet. Okay. And you ask me questions. I can answer yes or no. Okay. And you have to tell me exactly what happens. They are convoluted, crazy, and sometimes extremely difficult. But if you ask enough questions, you will get enough answers. To get to the bottom of it. To get to the bottom of it. And every now okay. and then, every now and then, I'll say irrelevant, doesn't matter. Okay. Or I will get confused. All right. See how this goes. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. A man walks into a restaurant, orders a glass of water, but the waiter pulls a gun on him. The guy, the guy says thank you, and then he leaves. So he walks into a bar. He asks, hey, can I get a glass of water? Uh -huh. The guy doesn't give him the glass of water. He just pulls a gun on him, and the guy was like, thanks, I'm good, and walks out. Yes. Doesn't say, I'm good, but is like, thank you, bye. Yeah. Is he uh, debating whether or not he wants to be alive, and then when he got the gun pulled on him, he realizes that he, in fact, does not want to die, and then is thankful for the realization? No. Are yeah. you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, was he thirsty? I don't think so. Was it a code? No. So he wasn't a spy? No. Well, that's a good question. Uh, is the man's profession relevant? No. Okay. Is the fact that it's a bar relevant? I mean, he did go in looking for a glass of water. So as long as there's a place to get a glass of water, I guess. So he was thirsty? I don't think... He was not thirsty. Did he just want to know that the guy had a gun? Uh, no. I'm sure he had no idea the guy had a gun. Was he scared? Yes. Pull out a glass of... Was it a water gun? Yeah. Did he go like... That would be so good! Imagine that's the end of this riddle. <laughs> You're the only person to ever get it in the history of this riddle. Can you squirt me in my mouth? <laughs> like that? <laughs> so he's genuinely grateful after having the gun pulled on him, but he's still thirsty. He was never thirsty, I don't think. He just wanted water. Yeah. But what he really wanted was a gun being pulled on him. No. Well, I mean, what? I don't think he wanted the gun. I just think he was thankful after makes no sense. It will when you find out the answer. Was he being followed? No. Was he in fear of his life? No. Is it nighttime? No, it doesn't matter. Irrelevant completely. Does the type of gun matter? Mm, no. I mean, not a water gun, but it would be a real gun. Squirt, squirt. Squirt, squirt. <laughs> the bartender pulled it out in lieu of a glass of water. Yes. Yes, he did. Did he reach under and think he was getting a water glass? No. He thought he was getting the gun. Yeah. But he pulled it out in lieu of the water. Yes. But he felt threatened. No. He, but he still did it on purpose. Yeah. Did he know the guy? No. So again, I'm going to ask, like, a glass of water isn't code for something. No. He literally, instead of grabbing a water, he just grabbed a gun and brought it out. When he said I needed a glass of water, the guy knew he didn't need, he didn't actually need a glass of water. But he also kind of did. Like, it's, it's kind of confusing, yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not a code, but uh, the w water wasn't the only thing that the guy could want at that point. Was it that guy's gun? No. So it was evident to the bartender that he wanted to shoot something and needed a gun. <laughs> I think the bartender was like... The guy said, can I have a glass of water? And the bartender in his brain was like, I can do you one better. I'll give you this here gun. <laughs> he didn't give him the gun, he just pointed it at him. <laughs> yeah. He needs the gun pointed at him. Yeah. Is he being like held hostage in any way? Or like... Mm -hmm. Is he filming? No. I'll get you tell you this. If he had asked for a hundred point gun at him, I don't even know if it, this would have worked. What? <laughs> this is actually a really good one. When I read this it, I wasn't sure. so hard. It is, it is super hard, yeah. Okay, so what circumstance would I find myself in where a glass of water and a gun would be equally beneficial? <laughs> I'm trying to think of it's what... It's so true, right? Yeah, I'm trying to think of like what... Would I need a gun pointed at me for? That's because that's obviously the key to this, right? Like yeah, the, I think the with well, the water's more. I don't know because I think the guy could have the guy could have reached underneath and pulled out a snake and had the same thing happen. Yeah, he wants something that's threatening. Yeah. 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 
what, what, in what scenario is being threatened with something a cause for thanks and gratitude? Well, stay on that, stay on that, uh, on that train of thought. Like, think about threatening. What, what happens when you're threatened or something? Maybe go down that road a bit. His adrenaline was kicking in. Was he having an allergic reaction? Ooh, we're getting closer, but no. Does he need a, an adrenaline boost? No, but like that, epinephrine. I'm not. I'm I mean? not. A, I'm not a scientist, but I don't think so. So it wasn't an allergic reaction. No. But he needed like a holy fuck. Yes. Like a like he needed like a, a jump start to his system. Yes. Okay. Um, but he also, was he choking? No, he was not choking. Uh, glass of water. Was he, uh, like spicy food, hot? Mm -hmm. Um, like what, what, why would you need something to jolt you? So he hasn't ingested anything. No. He's not got like a medical condition. No. Uh, but he needs like a jolt of adrenaline mm -hmm. and like something common that you would have. That would give me do a jolt of adrenaline that could also be solved with water. Go yeah, on. exactly right. Okay, okay. Um, what are some things that fear helps you with? Uh, that's the big question right now. Since the beginning of this. I think I know. I don't think you do. No, I think I do. Okay, okay. So you know how like sometimes you might like ask someone to like jump out at you and be like boom. When you least expect it. Would you ask someone to do that? Yeah. Ever? I would never ask someone to do that. But like, what if you had the hiccups? Ding, 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 ding. And so he wanted the water to like try and like make the hiccups go. Yeah. And instead he's like, can I get some water? And the guy was like, holds a gun up at him. He's going to shoot him. And it scared the hiccups That's away. That's exactly what happened. And he was like, oh, thank you. It's way more effective. Fuck, that took me a long time. <laughs> I love that oh, one. Oh my god. It's, so, it's a really it's weird scenario. It's so simple once you get it. The one I when, hate these riddles. <laughs> when, you, when I read that one, I was like, I don't know. It's either you get it instantly or we're going to be here all day. Yeah. So thankfully we had all day. <laughs> yeah. That's a good job. You get Thank it. You. you got there. Thank you. You got there in the end. Yeah. Um, yeah. More of these coming soon. I like them, um, but I like to be on this side of them. So yeah. That's just how I do it. Yeah. You're a good job. You know what? I like them too. Yeah. I honestly, because I feel so smart when I get them. <laughs> I like to feel dumb. Awesome. See you guys Great. later.